Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry alongside Scott Carter. The Florida Gators defeated the Georgia Bulldogs in their annual rivalry in Jacksonville 38-20 to last week. An absolutely stunning victory for the Gators. A victory that this team, these players, this coach, and certainly this program really, really needed. Something that really made this uh, building feel good about itself this week. Yeah, I really did. I mean, they were heavy underdogs. Obviously, Georgia entered the game ranked number nine, and uh, you didn't really know what to expect because it was Treon Harris, a freshman quarterback, making his first start. And what we saw was a lot of running by uh, Kevin Taylor and Matt Jones and just a physical dominating performance by Florida's offensive line. Definitely something this program needed. Uh, gets one of your biggest rivals in a game that few gave you a chance to win. And here they are, they got four games left, and they're hoping to use that as a launching pad here through the final uh, third of the season, these final four games, just to take something positive out of that and build on that starting uh, Saturday up in uh, Vanderbilt. The final total in that Georgia game was 418 rushing yards. Treon Harris threw six passes. Uh, what are we going to see from this quarterback that people think gives this offense a little bit of a juice? What are we going to see from Treon Harris as the season progresses a little bit? Well, I would expect to see a few more passes. I mean, you know, that they ran the ball 60 times through the ball six. It's very rare to see that in today's game. That's more like when they used to wear leather helmets. But nowadays... Is that you, when you played? Yeah, that's when I played. But that nowadays you don't see that very often. And uh, it worked. It really took the pressure off Harris in his first career start. They didn't really have to have him make big plays to win that game. But, you know, these coaches and this staff, the players, they understand that's going to change. Teams saw that film. They're going to start loading the box, starting to defend the run. So that's going to leave Treon Harris some opportunities to make plays. And those receivers that we've talked about, I mean, they should get some chances as they move forward here. Now do they make the plays? And, I mean, he's a young guy. We've seen enough, I think, out of him to realize that, you know, he brings some playmaking ability with his feet on the run. Uh, and the team has obviously responded to him well just in the Georgia game and how that game played out. Florida Gators now go to Vanderbilt. The Commodores have really struggled in the SEC. They're 0-5 they're in the league. They've lost all their games by double digits. You can throw all these things, uh, negative statistics that they have. They're at the bottom of nearly every stat in the Southeastern Conference. But here's a stat you can't get around. They beat the Gators last year, and that's certainly a carrot that Will Muschamp will dangle at this team this week. Yeah, several players have talked about that the last two days, about, hey, they know what happened against Vanderbilt last year. They're, you know, they're holding uh, a little bit of a grudge there. I mean, Vanderbilt not supposed to lose them. They had beaten them 22 straight times before last year. It happened. Now they get a backup in Nashville Saturday. And it is a different Vanderbilt team. I mean, James Franklin had done a really good job there over three years, kind of re remade the image of that program. He leaves to go to Penn State. Derek Mason takes over his first year. They lost a lot of recruits after Franklin left. So it's clearly a program that's kind of trying to regain its footing. And this is a Florida team that is you know, kind of trying to regain its footing as the season winds down here. I mean, so they're going to go up there, and it's a big game on their schedule to uh, kind of carry some momentum and just string together some wins, which they need. We'll see if the Florida Gators can win their second straight SEC game for the first time this season. Scott Carter will be there. I'll be there. We'll see you guys next week.